Hey guys, what is up the Neocubist here? Welcome to episode 11 of my hardcore survival let's play. So if you missed the last three episodes, I highly encourage you to go back and check them out. I'm not going to turn around and spoil anything, so if you have missed them, please do go back to episode 8 and start from there. Uh, for those of you who have returned, thank you so much for watching all the hardcore. As you can tell, we have made quite a bit of progress. We're doing some pretty insane stuff now. Um, we're about to use 103 levels of XP to make the most OP armor physically possible. We may not get the best in chance off the bat, but that's okay. It's better than this whole iron crap. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we also made a giant windmill. Um, this is going to be our next home. And I think it's a pretty beautiful choice for a home. I just realized there's a little bit of stuff up there. Oh no, that's going to bother me very badly. Okay, well, we're going to go up there and fix that. And then we're going to make our armor. I can't believe I missed that. I've actually taken screenshots of this already. Uh, well, that's okay. We can take more. But let's go up here. Let's remove that because that can't be there. Um, and then after we make this armor, I think we're going to just kind of mess around and uh, move our stuff into here and uh, have some fun with it and probably do a little bit of interior design. I can't believe I left that. That's terrible. Okay. Well, I'll meet you guys over at the enchanting tree and we're going to make this armor. Now, I'm hoping for protection four and everything. Um, I know that's kind of impossible to get, you know, for sure. Um, I also made a grindstone, which is super helpful. <clears throat> Thank you guys for reminding me that they exist. For some reason, I always forget they exist. And I think we have enough diamonds also uh, to maybe make a pickaxe or something of the sort. Um, yeah, we have a good bit left over. We have nine diamonds left over. So there's our full diamond armor set. Uh, we're going to put the grindstone up in here. Probably like, I don't know, like right there is perfectly fine. And uh, let's go ahead. Oh, we don't have the lapis with us. Okay. Well, let's run back home and let's get the lapis and also show you what we got mining yesterday. If you missed it, uh, we got a ton of really cool stuff. So let me get over there. So this is pretty much all that we got. We got a ton of iron. We got a ton of coal. We got lapis. We got gold. All of these bad boys are full. They're probably almost done. Looks like those bottom two are done, but we should not need to get more lapis pretty much ever. I don't think. Uh, 64 blood. That's that's way too much lapis. That's so much lapis. Uh, so I don't think we're going to need to get more, but if we do, we have an enchanting problem. Uh, but I'll meet you guys back up at the top and let's get started. Now, before we enchant my armor, I have a sponsored message for today and it's from Windmill Farms. So Windmill Farms produces organic wheat in the Minecraft world. It's some of the best in the business and I really hope you guys choose organic farms in the future for your uh, for your for your Minecraft food needs. Man, do you see how good that looks? I'm so happy with it. I really am. I can't quit looking at it. I've never met a win I've never made a windmill before, so I hope it looks good. But like I just I can't like I like come outside and I'm like, this is my world? Nah, it's not my world. This isn't mine. Um so we'll just make a little bit into the actual lapis powder itself. Uh, that's perfectly okay. We'll put the rest in this chest. And then we're not going to need more than a stack, so we'll just get that much. Oh, man, I'm really nervous. I hope we get some good stuff. We've been having good luck with enchants so far, so let's try the biggest piece first. Blast protection four and breaking three. Nah, I'm, I'm good on that. We have 100 levels for a reason. We're going to be going through this for quite a bit. Uh, thorns two. Dude, if that was my only level 30 enchant, you know how upset I would be? Oh, my goodness. That would be terrible. Just thorns two. Unbreaking three, protection three, thorns two. Ugh. Dude, these are some real bad enchants. Game doesn't want us to do good, but it's okay. We have 103 levels. We can play this all day, dude. Okay, we're going to try this. Protection four and breaking three. That's awesome. I really I really need the boots. I'm going to put the stuff on the right that I want to keep. Uh, I, I don't want to keep any of this stuff, so let's just disenchant it. Let's get our little bit of XP back. I really want to get feather falling on the boots. That's one thing. I have to have feather falling. That's not going to do it for me. It's not going to do it for me. Come on, let's see what we can get. Fire protection for depth. See, that's awesome and whatnot, but that's not what I'm looking for here. We're already at 77 levels, dude. Uh, we better be careful. Let's do the chest plate. Thorns too. Oh, dude. What are these enchants? If we get this unlucky, it's going to be kind of terrible. Unbreaking three, fire protection three. Okay, well, I'm at 68 levels now. I can only do this so many more times. Well, let's try the helmet. Let's see what we get on that. 
Respiration 3, Fire Protection 4. Uh, no, it's not really. I mean, that's okay, but again, I'm looking for some very specific enchants here, which I know makes it difficult, um, but that's okay. We have infinite mobs in our mob, mob spawner. Protection 3. No, that's not good enough. Wow, I'm having terrible luck. Protection 3 and Breaking 3. I'm just going to keep this for now. Uh, we'll keep going on it. Oh, I really don't want to... 56 levels. That's actually quite a bit. Fire protection three. Like, what is that, dude? That's like, that's literally terrible. Come on. Can we get some better luck here? No, that's not good luck. Can we get protection four, please? I'll be nice. No, that's terrible. I'm going to break you, grindstone and enchantment table. We're going to go make a new one. Fire protect. I think this game's trying to be, trying to be insulting at this point. These are absolutely trash. I mean, protection three is okay. I really want protection four, but I know it's kind of hard to get. We can only do this a few more times. Honestly, we already used a hundred and le we used a hundred levels, dude. That's actually kind of bad. Well, not a hundred. We've used like 60, 62 technically, uh, but we're we're getting close. Why did I only get twelve lapis? Like walked down there while I was talking and I wasn't paying attention. I'm like, I'm gonna get twelve. You know what? 22. That's still not enough. We're going to get two more blocks worth. 18 more. 40 lapis. Let's go. We got 41 levels. We can do this like three, maybe three more times. What do we want to roll uh, changing? Probably this. I really thought this was going to go differently, guys. Unbreaking three, fire protection three, thorns two. No, game. Just give me protection four and I will be the happiest person alive. No. Don't do it. Oh, please tell me. Okay. Three more times we have. Dude, what is going on? I've never had any chance like this. I always have the best luck. Maybe that's why I'm getting bad luck. Nope. Wow. Well, this is slightly disappointing. thought we are going to get blast protection for. I mean, that's okay. You know what? Maybe that's what we really need because creepers are going to be killing us. It looks like that's what we're going to have to go with. That's actually kind of OP, but not the most OP. You know what? I'll get levels between this episode and next because um, I got Zoom classes next week, of course. And uh, we'll try to get 100 more levels, see if we can't re-roll the enchants on this stuff. We're going to retire the old armor. We may make an armor stand for it just to remember it by, but we're just going to throw it in a chest for now. And we're going to put on our OP armor. There we go. Um, so I don't know how good this armor really is. It's definitely better than what we were running before. That's for dang sure. But I'm not exactly... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not exactly sure how much better. Protection 3. Uh, blast Protection 4. Protection 4. Protection 3. It all has Unbreaking 3 on it, though, which is what I really... I don't know. It's good. It's better than the Iron Armor we had, and we didn't really have any problems. The only thing I will really want is Feather Falling. And I may try going through maybe some books, or maybe we can go try to find a village somewhere. Um, something like that. We probably need to do that to get villager trading going so just so we can get the best enchants because you can get like a protection for book or a protection, yeah, protection for book from them. And that stuff's very helpful. Uh, but anyways, we should start to move into this windmill house. Um, the entrance, I haven't really even made an entrance yet. I think we're just going to do this little tiny cute door. I don't think we need to add anything else. Maybe. Um, I may want to put like slab here, or slab there. And then I may want to add, like, we have some of this. We have some of this. We made so many wooden materials to build this house. Like, we, we really did. We went all out for it. Um, we, I, I'm happy that we did. Why do I keep putting it in the wrong spot? Okay. And like that. Maybe we'll make, we'll make a little bit of a somewhat fancy entrance. It's, like, really not that fancy, but it's, it's semi-fancy, okay? It's semi-fancy. And then we'll just put a stone out there. That's fine. Keep trying to break it like I'm in creative. That's not how this game works, okay? It is if you're in creative, but unfortunately, we're on hardcore. There we go. Um, and then we should probably put the slab right there, actually. Okay, so now we have an entrance into our lighthouse. Man, this thing is our lighthouse. I'm going to call it just a number of weird things because I don't think I've ever lived in a... I never lived in a windmill before. Uh, so that means it's just gonna it's just gonna be me calling it a bunch of weird random things a bunch so I do apologize for that um, but yeah I'm gonna start thinking of an area where to put chests in I don't know exactly where one two three 
Um, we'll just space this out like this. And uh, we should be able to put a good bit of chests in here in each like floor. And I think this is going to be where my chest storage is. I definitely want to live at the top. This is not where I want the ladder going permanently. Actually, you know what? I think it has, actually it is, it is kind of fitting. Um, maybe eventually we'll add some actual like staircases. But I think for right now, we're just going to go with that ladder. Uh, that's the ladder that we had built to construct this thing. We obviously had to go up and down a bunch to do all that texturing. Um, and do we have any more spruce? That's the big question. Do we have any more spruce? Oh, yeah. That's a stupid question. We have... We don't even need that. Look at all this. I didn't realize all this stuff we had. Uh, I'll probably end up designing a little bit of the house off camera as well in between this week's episodes and next week's. Um, by the way, if you guys are curious, my upload schedule is every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, I know a lot of people are like, Neo, where, why aren't you uploading? If it's not a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, I don't usually upload those days. If I do miss a day, it's usually on a Thursday. Um, you know, if I want to lighten the load and only make three videos one week, or if I only want to make two, I'll upload them Saturday and Sunday. Uh, but the weekends are definitely like prioritized just because I feel like those are the best times to upload. Um, at least for my channel and my audience. Maybe different for you all. If you're if you're a YouTuber too, you make YouTube videos. Uh, I think this next floor might be a little bit shorter, but that's okay. Again, I think this is more chest storage than we'll probably ever realistically need. Um, but you know, should we need more, that's okay. This is where I want my bedroom to be. Now, obviously, things are a little bit sloppy in here. Don't really need that anymore. We should probably fill in this wall gap right here. And I didn't really add any windows either. I don't really think, unfortunately, we can put windows in here. It just doesn't seem to work out too well. Uh, we may end up putting a loft up there or something. That could be actually really cool. Oh, yeah, that could be really cool. We could have a nice loft up here. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, see, we already got one idea going. I don't know exactly what wood type to use here. Maybe we'll use something other than spruce because we've been using so much spruce. Uh, we'll just use some... Well, yeah, that's fine with me, actually. We'll just use some oak wood slabs up here. I think that would help break up all the spruce because, again, we have so much spruce in here. We have no... We have no oak. So let's do this over here. Now, this is where my actual bed can be, the bed itself. And then we can have some stuff below this. I don't really know. I mean, again, it's just kind of like a bedroom. You don't actually need anything up here. And then we can put the fence right there. Something like that. Um, and then maybe a little bit of safety so we don't fall off the edge and die. Um, and then, of course, there's a hole right here, but this is not going to stay here. I don't really want the hole. I don't want a hole right there, okay? That's just kind of dangerous. A little bit more dangerous than I'm comfortable with. Let's see how high up we can get this fence to go. This could look pretty good. No, it's going to go all the way up there. Cool. Okay. That's actually not a bad deal. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, mainly all I wanted to do was just transfer the... the again, I'm just kind of like, you know, hypothesizing what some things could be in here. This is... None of this is final, um, at least for right now. Of course, like I want to make all the floor materials look congruent and whatnot. Sorry, I've been recording. This is like the sixth hour I've been recording straight. So my voice... It's starting to go a little bit, but I'm going to raise the floor in here by one. Only reason being, I don't, I can't change this because these are like supports for the top little area of the, the windmill. And I can't change those. That's fine. I'll just use those. Um, put some torches in here like this. And again, since this is like one of my more fancy homes, I'd really like to use something other than just torches for lighting. Uh, but for right now, this is okay. And dude, let me tell you, this is more storage than we're ever going to need. Like, how the heck are we going to use all of this storage? I don't know. Maybe you guys should, you know, consider living in a windmill in the future. You could copy my you could copy my build if you want. Um, if you want to see me build it, you can go back to episode... What is it? Episode 9? Um, and then episode 8 is me making that giant wheat farm, which also took a long time. So if you guys aren't subscribed and you want to see more cool projects and you're not subscribed to the channel, I don't like to bother people about it a whole ton, but I really would appreciate a subscription. Um, again, if that's something that would interest you, if it's something that would not interest you, then don't subscribe. Uh, but if you want to subscribe, I really would appreciate the subscription. But make sure you turn on post notifications or you won't actually know when I upload. The only reason I say that is it's free. You can change your mind and unsubscribe at any time. Um, I don't annoy you with anything other than Minecraft. If you don't like Minecraft, I would not recommend subscribing. Uh, but that's pretty much all I upload is Minecraft. It is all I upload. You can look at my upload history if you want. 
Uh, but feel free to do whatever you want. Again, I don't want you guys to do anything you don't want to do. I'm not going to force you to do anything. I can't force you to do anything. So don't don't think I am. Let's see. What can we do? Chess like this? Why have I not been doing it like that before? Uh, now, I made... This looks like a lot of chess, but I honestly don't know if this is going to be enough. It might be. And I'm happy we have this armor. We're going to keep it pristine for as long as we can. We're going to make sure we don't get any damage done. None. Maybe a little bit. I'm sure a little bit will happen here and there, but we're going to prevent it as much as we can. Now, the cool thing about having uh, slabbed floors above is you can put chests all the way, I don't know, throughout the room like that. And the ceiling doesn't really affect opening it or not. Uh, so it's actually kind of helpful. Now, I am going to put, I think, some slabs in between here. I think that might actually be pretty cool. Something like this. Okay, so let me put a bunch of chests down and then I'll come back when I've shown you what or when I've figured out exactly what I'm going to do because I don't know how I'm going to space all the chests exactly. I think something like this. Um, I just don't want to have chests too close. Mm. See, I don't think we're going to have any chests over here. I think this is I think this is enough chests for one room though, right? Because we're going to have a bunch of these rooms. So give me a bit. Let me copy this to all the floors above. All right, and just finishing up the last chest room in here. I'll film it. It's not very hard to film. It's actually a pretty easy process. Once you get the pattern down, you can kind of just build it super duper quick, uh, which is nice because you don't have to spend a whole lot of time doing repetitive tasks. And now we have all of our chest storage done. Again, not the most efficient shape. I'm sure I could have done it in a more efficient way, but it really doesn't matter to me. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, so let's start transferring some stuff over here. I think the first level is going to be like rare stuff. And then the second level, this, this level right here, since it has an oak floor, it's going to be the rare stuff. Uh, so we'll put like diamond stuff up in there. Uh, the second layer is probably going to be like wood and stone, some sort of mix of that. So I'm going to put all the wood stuff I have into this chest right here. Again, we don't need this many chests. We may never need them, uh, but I feel like it's better to have, a, you know, your house somewhat future proofed in case of uh, emergency in the future. For example, you win the lottery and you get a double chest full of diamonds. You better be able to store all of said diamonds. That's a good thing, right? Oh, we're not on the right floor. Uh, we're going to have to put some signs or something for a while because having everything on a separate floor is going to be kind of tricky. Uh, but I think I think we'll be able to make do. Uh, we're going to put some alive stuff in here. This is more wood stuff. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to time lapse a little bit. I'm just going to go grab a bunch of stuff. We're just going to put it into chests and it uh, should be a pretty satisfying time lapse. All right, well, that's enough chest moving for now. Uh, at least we have all the chests cleared out down here. Um, I'm sure there's more stuff we can put up. I know we need to go to the actual house. I haven't even started over there, uh, but I've been recording for like six hours, so I think I'm going to give myself a break. We're not going to do any menial tasks like that. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of exploring because we have not explored this world like a whole, whole ton. Um, and now that we have better armor, I feel a little bit more comfortable exploring as opposed to doing it without nice armor. Um, but yeah, we have a little bit of stuff to still move. Of course, we'll get to it eventually. Uh, but for right now, I'll probably just do it off camera, which is way easier, um, I think, at least to record, uh, to, to not record. I do not like recording moving stuff in chests. That stuff is just too boring. We're going to put stuff in here that may not exactly go in here. It's okay. I don't know why I wouldn't just put it in the right spot, but that's just the way I work sometimes. When I get lazy, I'll just start putting stuff in random chests, even though the right chests are like right here, right? Um, okay, so give me a bit. I'm going to make a bed. We're also going to grab some wood. I'm sorry, but I'm so scatterbrained. Um, I'm going to grab a little bit of wood here. We're going to make a bed, and we're going to do a little bit of exploring. Hopefully, we can find something good. Uh, we're just going to pick a direction. We're going to head in that direction. I have not really gone too far in that direction, so... We'll do a little bit of a time lapse, and when I encounter something cool, I'll come back and talk.
Guys, I found something. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, oh, where'd it go? Look at this. Oh, where'd it go? It keeps turning around. I think it's a fox. Uh, but look at this, guys. One hit kill, and we get pork every time. Cooked pork. Isn't that nice? Thanks, so easy. Oh, I didn't mean to kill you, dude. He was standing in the path of destruction. Uh, so as you can see, we traveled a little bit over in this direction. I did want to come back just to shoot some animals and show you guys this nice little mountain range over here. So potentially we could build something over in this direction. It could be kind of cool. Um, I don't know how deep these caves go. Wow, that's like a that's like a you fall in it and you die kind of cave. That's just a nice cave. But yeah, this area over here is quite beautiful. Um, I didn't realize we had anything this close to home that looked this good. Um, we'll do a little bit less time lapse when we're doing the exploration because I think it's kind of hard for you guys to take in anything. Uh, those look like cows, and you could see during the time lapse it turned around. We looked at the windmill. Every time I look at it, I just I just have this stupid grin on my face. I cannot believe I built that. And like that's seriously like one of the best things I have ever built in Minecraft. Like whether it be survival or creative, the fact that that was in survival is just I don't know, dude. I almost can't believe it. It's just too good. Um. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, watching me make it. I really want to find a village. That's one thing. I want to get villagers. Obviously, we're going to want to get mending as soon as possible. That would be nice so that we can focus on getting maybe some netherite tools. I am comfortable going to the nether, so we may start to do that um, in next week's episodes, potentially. I'm not going to promise anything because the nether is a very dangerous place to be. And I would prefer not to lose everything because I feel like we're doing pretty well. I almost died right there. I feel like we're doing pretty well. But again, between this episode and next, um, I'm going to have a week of Zoom classes again that I can grind XP on. And I maybe try to change. I'll, I, I may just get a bunch of levels. I may actually change the enchants on there as much as I can. But I promise I won't let you guys miss anything. I may do the enchanting all on camera just because I feel like that's better for you guys. And kind of fun to watch to see what we get. Kind of like rolling the dice. You see what you get. Is that a... Nope. That's, a, that's one of those abandoned portals or broken portals, whatever they're called. Let's go over there. I haven't really been to too many of those. And I am a fan of the golden blocks. You can make some golden apples, which would be kind of nice. Uh, but I want to make like some gold farms. We obviously, we have that really nice double spawner, which is cool and all, but I'd like to make some like really extreme farms. Um, I also would like to get a better sword. Um, we also are going to need to get another pickaxe soon. So it's probably good that I'm going to get some levels off camera just because I don't know. It's satisfying for me to sit there and just kind of, you know, have some have some reason to want to be on my computer during those Zoom classes. And uh, I think gathering Minecraft XP gives me that motivation. Not because I'm in class. I don't want to be there, but... Oh, man, it's kind of nerve-wracking. Let's just grab that. Is there any more? No? Anything good? Mending? Okay. We'll keep that. I, don't, I wish you could take enchants off of things, but you can't. Uh, but you know what? A mending... That, that is a pretty cool piece of armor. We're just going to take that. Now, what I'm hoping for, again, is a village. I'd like to get some sort of villager breeder going, something like that. It would be a pain to get them back from all the way over here. Uh, so maybe not this far in this direction. I would, you know, if I, f if I find a village way over here, I may not use those villagers to go back because it would just be too far away, right? I think it would be. But I'm going to keep exploring. If I see cool stuff, I'll let you know. If not, I'll meet you guys back at the base because we've already gone quite far in this direction. We may want to try another direction, uh, maybe going that way from our base. Uh, yeah, I'm going to run back to the base and I'll meet you guys there. Okay, well, we made it back home. So now I want to travel in this direction. Hopefully we can find something good. I still just, I can't get over the windmill, guys. I, I just can't. It makes this world look so much better. It makes me want to play it more. It makes me want to stay around here, though. I don't even want to explore. I just want to stay there and stare at the windmill all day. But I know you guys don't want to. Uh, but we're just going to keep traveling in this direction. Now, hopefully there's a village this way. I know that there's not in that direction because we've already been that way. I don't know about that way for sure. Um, but this is the only direction I really haven't traveled very far in. So I'm just going to keep going. If I see anything cool, I'll let you guys know. But until then, we're just going to time lapse kind of some, doing some running.
Well, as you guys can see, we got quite a nice little ocean pond thingy here. It looks like there's a dolphin in it. That's why I say ocean pond, because, um, nope, it's actually part of the ocean. As you can see the dolphins, you can see the vegetation at the bottom of the water. I don't know what that is, but I don't think there's a village in this direction either. Uh, just a bunch of weird floating land. So I'm going to head back to the main base and uh, we will reconvene there because I really don't. I don't know. I think this just goes straight to the ocean over here. Let me check. I'm, I, I, I've come this far. I might as well go a little bit further and see. But I'm 99% sure that this is just going to go into the ocean, which is good. Um, I don't mind going to the ocean. I feel like the ocean's nice. You know, you can go find another whole other continent. Hopefully we can actually find some land with a village on it. But we're definitely not going to bring villagers across an ocean. I don't know how you'd do that. Don't really want to find out. I feel like that would be where be very complicated okay well my suspicions were true it's just ocean over in this direction so it looks like we're gonna have to head past f the flower forest or something and just try going in that direction i really don't know um looks like another ruined portal way way over there uh but yeah i'll re we, we will reconvene back at the main base all right guys well we have made it back home and I think we're going to end the episode here. I've been recording now for like six, seven hours. And uh, this set recording session is to come to an end. But make sure you guys are subscribed so you do not miss next week's episodes. Again, if you find yourself watching my, all of my videos, you find yourself finding my videos and you're recommended and you realize you're not subscribed, could you check and see if you're subscribed? And if you're not, could you do it? I really would appreciate it. Um, this week has been pretty amazing as far as the hardcore world goes because look at this guys look at this i still can't get over it every time i come over here it's like all i want to look at like i don't want i don't want to look at i don't want to look at this thing anymore whatever whatever this thing is um i will time last break in these trees one second And there we go, the last remnants of the of the construction of our giant windmill. It's honestly a little bit too big. We 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 overshadowed our little our little enchantment tree thingy now. You guys were like, Neo, your enchantment area looks way better than your house. And I was like, you know what, touche, it does look better than my house. I'm gonna make something that looks better. Um, and I think I took it a little too far. I'm a little full of myself when it comes to this windmill. I really am. I just I just really like it. I've never built anything that good before. I don't think. How did I come up with this in survival? I don't even want to think about it. It did take quite a while, like two, three, four hours. But, uh, you know, you put your mind to something. You come up with something pretty good, apparently. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching all these episodes this week. I will see you guys next week with episode 12. Uh, again, I ask that you're subscribed so you don't miss episode 12, but if you don't want to subscribe, that's perfectly okay. But would you mind leaving a like on the video? I would really appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys next week, starting on either Thursday or Friday. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hopefully between this episode and next, I'll gather a bunch of XP levels again during Zoom classes. I like to just sit in my mob farm and just get a bunch, and I mean a bunch of XP levels. We may not get 100 again. We may get 100 again. I don't really know. If we were to get 100 again, we could probably re-roll some of this armor. It is pretty OP, uh, but it's not like the best thing in the world. Um, I definitely, I like the blast protection four on the chest plate. That definitely helps with creepers. Uh, but I really want like feather falling on the boots. And ideally, I would like something else on the helmet. Maybe some sort of like, actually, I don't know. I just want protection four on everything pretty much. All right, guys, so I know that the idi the video, sorry, the idio. I slept two hours last night. I've been doing my Zoom classes, so you guys know what's been happening. Uh, if you follow my Instagram at the NeoCubist, you can see I took a little picture. I was in a Zoom class. We're just sitting here. Uh, I've been doing that all of today, and you can see I have 63 levels now. You saw that little time-lapse clip. Uh, I got the inspiration to just record a little, the last little bit of this episode. Um, you know, we ended it, and it was okay, but I wasn't super happy with what had happened. 
Um, and I also ended up moving everything. Like I loved, I love these Zoom classes. They give me an opportunity uh, to do a lot of work that like I don't want to do on a video. Um, you know what? It's okay that it's raining. It's not the worst thing in the world. I added some paths. Obviously, we're gonna add some lamp posts or something like that um, in the future because I don't want to just have you know straight stone with nothing on them. Um, and I haven't really had. Uh, a decisive oh man my inventory is crammed full of stuff i haven't had a decisive name for the dog but we're gonna get him out of the rain i feel like that's kind of mean to leave him there um so episode nine just came out or sorry episode eight just came out i don't know the, the episode that came out on thursday had just come out oh there you go buddy he actually shakes off the water it's kind of that's kind of cool um but as i was saying the episode had just come out and i haven't really seen all the comments yet we're just gonna throw these on the ground we we, we don't really need any of this stuff we have too much of it. It'll just kind of disappear on the ground here, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, we will keep the iron, though. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. So I was going to go re-roll some of this armor. Since we have 63 levels, we can do it, you know, a good bit of times. Uh, but, oh, yeah, I also decorated this bottom floor just a little bit. I did I did a bunch of little tiny things, but nothing too major. Um, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with this room yet, but I don't want to have to run all the way to the very top just to sleep. Um, but this is the chest storage that I've come up with, so pretty good. Uh, it's pretty rudimentary. It's not like an extremely fancy chest storage system at all, but it works, and I'm okay with it. Um, okay, let's go enchant. I know the rain is kind of annoying. I'm just going to turn it down. Uh, I don't know why weather was even... <laughs> I don't know why it was at 50%, but we'll leave it at 10%. That should be more than okay. I think you guys are okay with that. Um, so let's go see what enchants we can get. We also kind of need to make a new sword. And you know what? We actually have nine diamonds. Let's actually go do that. That's that, that could actually be kind of fun. So let me grab these diamonds, and we're going to make a sword. I'm also going to grab a little bit of oak wood slabs. One second. There we go. We got diamonds. We got slabs. And we got sticks. Uh, so this is just for the path. And the sticks are obviously to make a sword. Sorry, I, I did not sleep very much last night. And... Uh, yeah, this is technically like three no yesterday's when i recorded all the episodes so yesterday was when i recorded the last episode which today is for i know it's all confusing this is the sunday episode though i think i'm pretty sure uh but yeah let's go make a new sword this one's okay it's just not that great and i'm not going to spend a bunch of experience trying to make it a whole lot better because i don't think we can really get much better i just want to breaking three like sharpness three i don't know if that's too much to ask for what are we going to get? I'm breaking three. Sweeping edge three. Wow, that's not bad at all. Okay, well, I'm going to... I'm actually going to take the enchant off of this one. And we're just going to roll an enchant on that and see what we can get. Sharpness four. Yeah. Wait, if you had sharp... Wait, hold on. If I combine these... I know, I'm like speaking another language. If I combine sharpness four and this... They give me sharpness four. That's actually the best... Oh, it only costs four, too. Wow. Okay. Well, I am extremely happy with that. Uh, we can do a couple of diamond pickaxes, too. I feel like that's kind of exciting. And then I do need... Hmm. I'm trying to think. Shovel. I'm going to go with an axe, and then we can do a shovel, too. So we'll use all of our diamonds. Um, I said I was going to re-roll my armor, and I came in here just made some tools. Only going to do one on each of these, though. Unbreaking three efficiency four. It's actually super, super nice. Uh, an axe. Unbreaking three. You know what? No. I'm actually not happy with that. The thing is, is I have more zoom classes, so I can actually record more of this after those are over, and I can get more experience. That's also terrible. I said I wouldn't. I would only enchant these once, and look, I'm just going through it. I'm going through the gauntlet again. Efficiency four and silk touch. You know what? Sure. It's okay, because they have like 1,500 durability. I'm not really concerned. Now a shovel. Fortune two. You see, for three for three enchant, that's like that really is. It's like a scam, like for three levels. Wow. Okay, that's not a scam. Okay. Well, what are we gonna re-roll here? We're gonna do the boots because I really, really would want feather falling. So we're gonna try this and see if we can get feather falling. Here we go. Protection four though. That's way better than it was. Okay. Well, overall, I'm pretty happy. Again, we can just keep on going with this at some point. Um, I'm probably going to try to find some more diamonds. Maybe next episode we can actually do a proper mining episode. Um, the other one felt a little bit rushed. It didn't take as much time as I guess I could have. Uh, but either way, 
thank you guys seriously so so much for watching and uh, i always open it to land that way i can close it like this and then i can minimize the game i have my zoom window open and everything that's why it says open to land it makes it a lot easier for me to afk uh, but either way thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed all the new tools uh, they seem to be pretty cool i do like having protection four now on almost everything blast protection four Maybe on the helmet we'll get something, but I really want a feather falling book. So we may do some villagers next episode. Who knows? Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I see. I will see you guys next week. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Pretty sure I already said that in the first outro. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.